Good morning, my name is Taylor Gibson and I am a fifth grader at Spesserdale Hall. And my weather question is, how do you predict when a tornado will touch down? It's a really tough thing to, uh, to predict where and when a tornado is going to touch down. Now, one thing that we do know, we do know the conditions that will produce a tornado, where a tornado is more likely. And one of the things that we look at are the surface winds. If you have winds coming in in one direction, but the winds aloft are either moving in a different direction or are moving at a faster speed, then that's wind shear. And, and wind shear is one of the ingredients that you need in order to form a tornado. So wind speeds moving in a different speed or different direction gives us that wind speed that will give us the initial conditions to potentially form a tornado. And that change of speed of those winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere create this horizontal roll in the atmosphere and that starts the rotation. But what you need is some sort of lift in the atmosphere, say a thunderstorm to take that horizontal roll and tip it in the vertical. So you have an updraft in a thunderstorm. That updraft is driving a lot of the winds up into the storm. And if that horizontal roll gets caught up in that updraft, then that horizontal spin turns to the vertical. And that's when you start to see that rotation that we talk about in the clouds. The question is, does that horizontal rotation that's now been tilted vertically, does that turn into a tornado? Maybe a funnel cloud, maybe a water spout, but Sometimes it does turn into a tornado and that's something that is hard to predict, but we can track it and we can give you an idea of when that threat is possible.